Coming up on Good Morning Texas, how silence is speaking volumes for victims in Venezuela. Cruise along with the UT Sailing Club. And a look at how Communication Council is making a dress out of condoms. All this and more coming up on Good Morning Texas. Good morning, Texas. I'm Brenda Lau. And I'm Keen Gass. With us today is our weather anchor, Taylor Hampton. And with our, and our news anchor, Rachel Robillard. Welcome. <laughs> New York City is known for its traffic, but according to a study by the National Traffic Scoreboard, the traffic congestion in Austin is worse. In 2013, Austin ranked fourth in the nation for wait times in traffic capital drivers sitting in, Austin, sitting in traffic for an average of 41 hours. Los Angeles, Honolulu, and San Francisco were at the top of the list with New York City in fifth place. Back here in Austin, students on the 40 acres are raising awareness about ongoing tensions within the country of Venezuela. Silent protests and asking support from student government are just a few ways that students are increasing awareness, but Cassandra Jaramillo shows us how the most powerful tool for the crisis in Venezuela has been smartphone technology. Government violence in Venezuela have local activists worried about their country. Police shooting and unarmed protesters is not okay regardless of what the political opinion uh, of that person may be. UT students and community members have been organizing protests and vigils the past several weeks. Silent protests are just one of the ways that UT organizations can raise awareness on the violence in Venezuela, but the most powerful form of communication is through their smartphone. Social media and smartphone apps are keeping thousands connected despite government censorship. The Venezuelan government recently shut down popular walkie-talkie app Zello, but the app quickly developed a new version that couldn't be blocked. And it was all done thousands of miles away, here in the city of Austin. Well, it's good to, to know that Zello actually helps people in these situations to know what's going on. CEO Bill Moore says the company receives support from users across the world. They write long letters of you know how important it is and you know how Zello is their lifeline you know back home you know within the country or outside the country so that they can keep up with with other people and it's I mean it, it really is satisfying how important it is to so many people. Activists and students say they will continue to use the power of technology to keep the community aware. We believe that democracy is a universal value, that no matter where you are in the world or who you are, you as a Democrat, if you identify yourself with democracy, you are entitled to defend it. Until the Venezuelan government cannot ignore their people any longer. Cassandra Jaramillo, Good Morning Texas. Well, you know, it's really interesting just to think about how your communications can be just taken away from you at any second, you know? So how cool is, is it that Zello is even a thing, but also that it's based out of here in Austin, you know? That is so neat. I mean, it kind of doesn't surprise you either. I mean, it's Austin, you know, and it's mm -hmm. kind of like the hub of everything. So mm -hmm. it's really cool. It's been really cool to see that. It was interesting what we could see how they address us at the Southwest next week to see how all these technology apps are going to be addressing these concerns and how they'll kind of have it in place for, for the future kind of thing. You know? Right. Yeah, right. I mean, it just absolutely shows that there's an app for everything. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. Well, prepare to meet some of the coolest Longhorns on the Seven Seas as we take a look at UT's Sailing Club. Every Saturday, while most UT students are sleeping in, this dedicated crew is preparing to set sail on Lake Travis. The UT Sailing Club welcomes both experienced mariners and land lovers alike. We took our cameras aboard one of the club's sailboats to interview Colin Addis, the club's treasurer. Um, you know, we're trying to be, in a lot of ways, a social organization for people to learn. Yeah, for people to learn how to sail, but uh, without uh, without feeling that they have to have experience to join, or uh, feel like there's a whole lot of requirements to their membership. Uh, and we want to create a, a you know really welcoming community for people to come and learn how to sail. There were plenty of new sailors learning everything from rigging to piloting boats. This is my first time. Uh, it sounded like a lot of fun. I sailed when I was a kid. I, I sucked and I couldn't figure it out. So uh, we'll see how it goes this time. And it's kind of cold. We'll see how it goes. I'll probably fall. Of course, safety is a top priority for the club. It's making sure that you're stable, 
but you're not going to fall off. So you can hold on to things like these lifelines, uh, onto the mast, onto those uh, metal wires that are coming off the top. Those are all sturdy. If you're interested in learning how to sail, you can visit the Sailing Club's website at utsailing.org for more information. Stephen Dow, Good Morning, Texas. And coming up later this month, a few student organizations will try their best at designing a dress made entirely out of condoms. And condom couture occurs annually yeah. here on, a, on campus think, as yeah. the fundraiser this. for Faith Aids, a group that raises awareness for safer sex practices. Each group will have about 500 condoms to make their design. Then, a student will model their organization's design down a runway. The video we see here is Communication Council starting their uh, design for this year. Aside from raising money, the opportunity to design a dress out of condoms was just too much to pass up. Um, we're doing it this year because we want to be sure to win for once and also because we really like to be creative together. It's a really good outlet for council bonding and we really have a good time with it. You know, when I saw them putting together this design, I was blown away about the fact that when they say they're making a dress out of condoms, yeah. they don't they don't joke around about they're it. The kidding. entire yeah, thing no. is made out of condoms. Oh, I saw so then tape up this girl's body to get a design, and they're just gonna add each one, sew it in one by one oh, by one goodness. by one oh, by goodness. one. I mean, I'd heard of this before. I remember last year, you know, we had kind of done something mm -hmm. on it, but I don't think I had seen it where I like known that it was like actually like on them. And oh my gosh, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, we'll have actually a bit more on Condom Couture uh, later on this month as we see how Communication Council does with their designs later on. So from one Longhorn to another, meet one Longhorn who not only loves to hook them, but also loves uh, to show others how to as well. Rachel went out and sat down with a student ambassador here on campus. The admissions office at the University of Texas hires student ambassadors like Anique Rivas to talk about the university to prospective students. Being at such a big university, I really wanted to get involved with something, so I thought no better place to be than to talk about the place that I love so much, which is the University of Texas. Multiple times a week, Rivas talks about the University of Texas over the phone, during events, and her campus walking tours. So we'll take a student around and kind of just show them uh, what it is to be a Longhorn, how to get here, and what sets our school apart from other schools around uh, the United States. From the Barbara Jordan statue, Gregory Poole, Student Activity Center, and Jester, the University of Texas has a variety of attributes that set it apart from other schools. The most notable is the tower. From the tower to the Capitol, we all see that like beautiful view. Um, and I always like to note that it's actually illegal to ever obstruct that view. During her tours, Rivas explains that state law prevents any construction between the Texas State Capitol and the University Tower. Till Gabriel blows his horn. Rachel Robillard, Good Morning Texas. Yes, I had a wonderful time talking to Neat. She told me some very interesting, interesting things about the university. In fact, if you put all of the books that we have at, in the PCL, it'll reach up to uh, San Antonio, she said. That's wow. a lot of books that I didn't think we had. Yeah, I thought she was about 70 miles. Yeah. Picture that, that many books going down from here to San Antonio. I actually Goodness. get to work with Anique, and yes. she is a sweetheart, and so nice to see what, 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 uh, what we, we get to do here. On yeah, campus. learn a little fun stuff about mm -hmm. UT, you know. We're, we're kind of interesting, aren't we? <laughs> Very. <laughs> well, don't go anywhere. Coming up next, a look at this week's weather forecast. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Now for some local news. What's happening around town, Rachel? Well, Brenda, Longhorn fans are now able to buy alcohol at games, at least for some sports. UT began selling beer and wine on Friday at basketball, softball, and baseball games, as well as the Texas Rallies track events. Alcohol sales will be expanded to football and to football in the fall, the athletic department ex is expected to consult with UTPD state officials and the school's concession con contractor to evaluate safety and determine whether alcohol sales would be expanded in the future. Six of Texas' jo top jobs are open after GOP Governor Rick Perry decided not to run after a record 14 years in Austin. Uh, despite the icy weather conditions in Austin, Texas voters kicked off the 2014 primary season yesterday in round one of races for Congress. 
governor, and other statewide executive officers that will test the strength of the conservative Tea Party movement in one of the nation's reddest states. And the results are in. Greg Abbott won the Republican nomination for Texas governor as Wendy Davis takes the Democratic nomination. Davis is the first female nominee since Ann Richards. Lastly, Lance Armstrong will not have to provide a deposition under oath, at least not yet, in regards to his doping past. A Texas appeals court has temporarily blocked an attribution panel from reviewing 12 million in bonuses paid to Lance Armstrong by a company that wants its money back, stopping efforts to force him to give new sworn testimony about his doping past. Last, late last night, a state appeals court judge issued a temporary stay, preventing a case against Armstrong filed by SCA Promotions from moving forward. Armstrong has been scheduled to provide a deposition on Thursday, with the first attribution panel convening March 17th. Thanks, Rachel. Now, the weather has been all over the place lately. What can we look forward to, Taylor? Well, Brenda. Um, I hope we are all recovering from that sudden rainy breeze that has blown over the last few days. Today you can expect to see patches of fog until 9 this morning with mostly cloudy skies and a high of 60 degrees and a low of 40. Thursday and Friday, however, we are expected to feel more like spring with sunny skies and highs in the mid 60s to 70s. Keep your jacket and umbrella nearby though as this weekend rain and winds make a fierce return. Plan your South by Southwest kickoff activities accordingly, as Saturday and Sunday will have a 40% chance of rain and thunderstorms, with high in the low to mid-60s. Things will heat back up Monday and Tuesday, just in time for spring break. Until then, stay warm and dry, Longhorns. Thanks, Taylor. Now, I'm hoping that we'll see that this weather will stay well after Monday and Tuesday. That way, South by Southwest doesn't get rained out. <laughs> what a shame that will be for all these people to come into Austin and see what? Oh. Rain. Oh. Rain. I that will know. be so dramatic. That's not going to be the ideal <laughs> situation. But you know what? Um, you guys can stay tuned for our coverage. We'll be at South by Southwest this year, showing you some of the most interesting new trends that we have uh, being showcased here in Austin. So true. Stay tuned for more Good Morning Texas. And welcome back to Good Morning Texas. Like you were talking about earlier, South by Southwest is here. Mm -hmm. You know, right now we have the South by Southwest Education Conference going on. And starting on this Friday, we'll have the Film Festival followed by the Music Festival on Tuesday. Um, now, for those of you who have not tried out South by Southwest, by Southwest so far, there are a lot of tips that you guys got to know to be able to tackle this week on first. First thing is, there are a ton of freebies to be found if you know where to look. The plan mm -hmm. is, though, you have to RSVP. Mm -hmm. uh, there are a lot of day parties and uh, nighttime parties that will be offering free food and drinks. Um, if you play your cards right, you may actually save some real money. I always tell people, if you're paying money during South by Southwest, you are not doing it right. <laughs> yeah. um, but the trick is that you have to RSVP to these events. You okay. have to let them know or also just turn you away at the door. Oh my gosh, that's so important. That's good for me to know because I wouldn't know any of these things. So these tips are actually going to help me mm -hmm. a little bit. Is that bad? No, it's <laughs> not. I'm like not known. No, I don't know anything. Mm -hmm. yeah, I've actually never been a South by, so how do you RSVP for these events? Oh yeah. Well, generally these, these uh, companies will be sponsoring these parties and you're going to go to their website and say, I want to go to uh, this party and then you'll like print out like a, sh like a confirmation sheet. Oh, or, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, or sometimes they'll actually be at certain places okay. throughout the festival where you can pick up a wristband. A oh. wristband specific for that one party. That way you don't have uh, to have a South by Southwest badge to go. You, all you need is a wristband for that party. And are there like special things for like, I don't know, 21 and up? Oh, I mean, um, yeah. a whole lot of South by Southwest when you want. That's the big <clears> thing you have to know is that make sure when you're RFP for a party that you can actually go. Oh, yeah. So some of these are going to be 21 and up, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, I think something that correlates with that are the smartphones. Mm -hmm. To yes. always have your phone and be updating and looking at updates because you can kind of miss some of the things that are going around. Like, just because you know Austin doesn't mean that you're going to know exactly mm -hmm. what's going to know because I know places are always updating their venues mm -hmm. and their events and maybe something gets canceled. Maybe something is 21 and up, like we were yeah. saying, and you mm -hmm. don't even know. That's, that's, the, that's the biggest <clears throat> thing that, that we have to really uh, know is that 
There's, a, there's an official South by South by South by Southwest right. app that updates every hour with new stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, and so it tells you when something is moving and the schedule. Because you know, it's impossible for you to know. Um, Gotta memorize. Yeah, you can't. Oh memorize yeah, all I mean, that. yeah. And can South by South. Oh no, I can't imagine at all. Mm -hmm. South by Southwest is such an adventure. You will literally be gone all day long. Wow. They actually have charging stations for your cell phone out yeah. in the middle, like That's in the streets. Smart. You can find them from mm -hmm. block to block to block. And I cannot tell you how handy that is. I can, the past year. That I have gone, my phone has died mid midday for me so many times. Oh my so gosh! Times. But speaking of though, you do have to plan. You do have mm -hmm. to have a plan yes. of action for South by Southwest oh. because the amount of <laughs> films there, the amount of panels that are there, the amount of music showcases that are there are staggering. It is going to be very easy to find yourself overwhelmed and confused without you know a schedule that you can abide by. Um, so plan it out for yourself. Mm -hmm. See if you can make yeah, a schedule, but really stay set. flexible and just. Keep an eye on your phone and see what happens because that's yes. the whole greatness about South by Southwest that things happen on the fly. Oh. There are surprise events, there are cancellations. Mm -hmm. You have to be able to be there to know when your favorite band is playing an impromptu set right there on the middle of the street. Oh my gosh, I mean, it sounds kind of wild, you know? Mm -hmm. that's, oh. that's what everyone says, and so kind of correlating with the plan of action to mm -hmm. have a bag with you. Yes. They say that I know the weather gets really hot, kind of like, I guess, related mm -hmm. to ACL. You know, it's hot, so have, you know, kind of like your essentials. Um, in your bag, it doesn't matter if it's like a little backpack yeah. or if it's yeah. a purse, but like just to have things with you. Yes, and keep to it survive. close. Definitely yeah. keep it close, yes. like a backpack or a satchel to keep close because you never know if pitpocketers come your way. That's mm -hmm. you don't want your smartphone yes. to mm -hmm. get taken. Oh up. my gosh, the world would end, wouldn't it? No, oh it gosh, would. I don't know what exactly. I do. It would. Daddy yeah. would be really mad. <laughs> <laughs> well, one thing you want to make sure that you have in your bag uh, or on you at all times, at least, is your ID. Yes, mm -hmm. um, oh, yes, definitely. Yes. A lot of these events are going to be 21 and up, but if it's not, a lot of them are still going to be 18 and up um, and so it's gonna be hard to get in anywhere without your ID um, just about every event is gonna need a valid um, identification whether it's your driver's license or if it's your badge if you don't have a badge you can't get in anywhere for the most part unless you specifically right. RSVP to those events oh, wow. and those are only if it's wow. okay with them that, that you don't have a badge so make sure that you always have your badge or a wristband <clears throat> um, if you're gonna go to an event and make sure that or be ready to get to get carded um, and if you are not uh, 21 you know don't APD, risk it. APD no. and TABC yes. are cracking mm -hmm. down this uh, this coming mm -hmm. week to yes. make sure that yeah. you know those fake IDs are going to be no longer in circulation. So if you're not 21, I would hold out until you are. That's yeah, my biggest advice. Good thing I'm 21 already. I do not <laughs> want to deal with that stress. Oh, absolutely not. No. Um, also, comfortable shoes. Mm -hmm. I think the last thing you want to have to worry about or your feet. And I guess for guys, you guys don't really, you know, right. have, you know, those heels that you're going to be wearing <laughs> or, you know, the cute little flats, but wear like, I don't know, Toms or Converse, the Skechers, oh yeah, the cute Keds. Yeah, be careful with sandals because there will oh. be a lot of people there and the last thing you want ha to happen on. is Steps on and all of a sudden you, you're, you're, your you're toe kind of nails, broken. Oh, your brakes, no. and oh my goodness, that's the last no, thing. No, walking want. barefoot on yeah. the ground, oh, absolutely not. The way the way that I can best put this is that you're gonna be walking around Austin all day and all night. Imagine. Oh, yes you wearing your heels to 6th Street during all this day. Oh Would you want to do that? God. Absolutely no. not. My pants Absolutely. just go no, right no, to the no. grass. That's yeah. the worst. You don't want stains. Oh, that's the worst. Don't do no. that. No. Mm. I'm okay looking a little mm. hobo-y. Okay. <laughs> no is. worries. Being off awesome night for the day. That's what it's all about. Uh, exactly. Being awesome Isn't it? You gotta I adapt so. while you're here in Austin. Hipster? Sure. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm kind of uh, old. Something else you really, really want to make sure that you worry about is cash. Mm -hmm. um, so many of, of, of the vendors that will be there are going to be carrying cash, whether it's going to be food trucks or if it's going to be stands or it's going to be, you know, even just tipping the friendly uh, street performer on, on, yeah. on the street. Wow. Cash is going to be great and paying those ATM fees are going to uh, stack oh. up really quickly. Ooh. Very fast. Besides, you really want to be that guy that's going to be holding up the line while you're waiting no. to authorize your card. Mm -hmm. You don't. Everyone's going to be cranky. They're going to want to get in line. Um, and then you, you just never know whether or not you're, you're going to be in a cab or going to buy band merch. Cash is the best way to have it. But just be careful though. Um, you don't want to keep uh, mm. rummaging through a handful of like one dollar bills. So make sure mm -hmm. you know where your money is and how where much you have. Is, yes. That way you're not going to be causing too much of yeah. a distraction. Yeah. Yeah. And be careful by putting all of your money in one place because if your wallet gets stolen, no. you're doomed. Oh, so you know what I did, Stagger. like just kind of yeah. stagger every like in a pocket, you know, in the mm -hmm. sock of your shoe, some in your wallet. Just make sure so Ooh. you know something That's does smart. happen to yeah. your wallet that you have a backup plan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And speaking of backups, yeah, maybe there's charging stations, but it's good to have your charger Definitely. on you. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, the last thing you want is you trying to you know tweak your latest 
update or being on Instagram and it not uploading. Mm -hmm. That I think what is that not like a girl's nightmare? I don't really know. <laughs> but it's, it's funny you say that because you know my uh, something that I like to tell people is that if you're at a concert. Watch the concert. Don't watch it through Instagram. Don't <laughs> yeah, watch it through Twitter. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's that's no. the best way to save Definitely. to save energy on your on your iPhone battery or mm -hmm. on your phone battery. Mm -hmm. Just put it down and enjoy, enjoy the experience. It. Yeah, you know? and put your yes. the, maybe the um, the light down much so it doesn't run out of battery. Oh yeah, dim it. Dim it. Dim it. You know what? A lot of people don't know that. Dim it. A lot of people mm -hmm. don't know. Oh my god. Like, save come on. your <laughs> battery definitely. Mm -hmm. Well, a few of the last important things that you really need to know oh. is just well-being keep yourself okay you know that means sunblock if you're gonna be out all day bring oh, yeah. sunblock to make sure that yes. you are not gonna be red like a lobster by the end of spring break mm -hmm. I know someone that was like that last year and they was embarrassing for them but they also <laughs> were peeling for two weeks so bring sunblock make sure that your skin is fully hydrated but keep yourself hydrated too bring water um, you know there are gonna be places where, where, where you can buy drinks but have water with you to be able to you're allowed to yeah. walk around with, yeah. with your camel bags, bags. Yeah. I think, just I think make that's sure, very common just make sure that you are you know, keeping yourself hydrated you, you don't want to pass out and miss all, all, all the good stuff. Vitamins, just again, keep yourself healthy. But the, over, the last thing though, the big overarching theme, mm -hmm. don't overdo it. You know, <laughs> you're gonna burn more calories than you're probably used to walking around, running around, running from place to place. You'll be sweating a lot more too, most likely. Um, so just don't overdo it. Keep yourself at a good well-being. Do exactly what you mm -hmm. think you can do. Spoiler. You're gonna be tempted yeah. to sleep two hours a night and then party all day long. Yeah. You know what, if you need a day, Take a day for yourself. You know, that's, that's the most important thing about South by Southwest. Enjoy it, but only enjoy it as much as you can do it. Exactly. Oh, yeah. I agree. <clears throat> uh, well, stay tuned. We'll actually be playing a fun game about real or not real regarding the new fans that are going to be here at South by Southwest. So we're going to test ourselves about our music knowledge. So stay tuned, everyone. <laughs> Well, since South by Southwest is next week, we're going to put ourselves to the test to oh see God. if we can identify the real and fake bands that will be making their way to Austin this coming week. Oh uh, now, we want to see what the first one is. Our first band is, ready for it, guys? Okay. Blue Eyed Blacks. Blue Eyed Blacks. Oh, my gosh. Is that band a real band, or is it a made-up band that we have created? I'm going to go with no. I have no. I'm going to go with, you know what? That sounds... Yes, my vote is yes. That's a real man. I don't think real so. Band. I think it's like a knockoff Black Eyed Peas wannabe. <laughs> so I'm going to go with no. Oh. Okay, I well, completely wrong. Uh, All right, what's the verdict result? is? They know what's the verdict. And it is. Oh, it's real. <laughs> it's a real oh, one. I it knew is a real it. one. There we go. There we go. You I know what? Know Sometimes it. I just knew it. It, knew it sounded it. too fake to be fake. You know, <laughs> like it had to be That's real. Only, only someone with a real band name could be Blue. Well, half these blue bands black. sound fake. I mean, Blue Eye Black. Wonder like, what kind of music okay. they play. Uh, take a look at our next one here, and it is bomb sniffing dogs. No. Oh no. my gosh, that's I, great. No. I'm gonna say no only because that sounds like a dangerous thing to say. <laughs> like, is that legal to <laughs> say bomb in a venue? Dogs. Like, oh no, bomb sniffing dogs. Is that legal? Can you say oh, that? Oh, that's true. Yeah. That yeah. I, I think no. Like, how, what would the shirt look like? You know, <laughs> some some dog like, sniffing, like you a know, German a bomb or yeah. Dog, yeah. Oh my gosh, no. that'd be a great. All right. Shirt. Well, we have three no's. What is that? What is Boys. the answer? It is. Bang! Woo! Yes. Yes. So we got it right. All right, guys. We're not. We're not. We're not so good yeah. after all. Goodness. Uh, we got our next band oh, is so Cradle Bedside Road. That's also an interesting yeah. shirt. Yes. You know what? I kind of want to go there if it's real. If it's I, a, if it's a real place, I want to go there. I, you want to go to Cradle Bedside Road? Okay. Yeah, that sounds welcome. Sounds awesome. it's sketchy. Yeah, you know, there, there could be a nice bed and breakfast there. Bedside. <laughs> I think it's goats fake, are outside. though. I, d I don't know. I, d I don't know about that. The road is what's getting me. It's like but yeah, I don't know, like mm -hmm. road. It seems really. Uh, you know, I'm gonna go with yes. Should I haven't said yes? I'm gonna go with yes. Rachel? No, I'm, 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 I'm no. I think it's American Idol. All right, so let's find out. Is it real or fake? It is. Oh, no. No. oh, no. My first one wrong so far. Oh, All right. Second one. I got I to gotta redeem myself. Here we go. Yes. We have our next one here, and it is Chuck Mead and his grassy knoll boys. Yes. Absolutely real. Absolutely. <laughs> I say that's got to be real. Grassy Knoll is, is a real place. It's where JFK got shot. Um, True. So I'm, I'm going to go with yes. 
it sounds it sounds like it's like borderline offensive, which means that it's definitely it is borderline real. offensive. <laughs> you know? definitely. I'm going with the majority, so I, I think that's a yes. Majority. All right, let's Three see guesses. it. It is a yes. yes! Ooh, there we go. Why am I so happy? Maybe maybe I'll <laughs> maybe I'll put them on my list of, of people to see. What I'll remember. Seven, so. It's like I got you guys right. <laughs> And our next one here we have snacks. is... What snacks? What oh. snacks? Mm. Yes, because I feel like... No. Yes, no. because no. All right. No, you know what? No. no. It sounds like someone in the studio made this up. So, no. Well, <laughs> snacks. La snacks. You almost got me. I don't know, but... I kind of want to listen to less snacks. They, yeah. sound, they sound like they're fun. They have a so good sense fun. of humor. I mean, yeah. I wish I had a snack. So. I'm going to go with no, yeah. though. <laughs> Makes me hungry. I know. <laughs> All right, so Rachel, do you say yes or no? I say no. All right, let's see. Yay, what? Little Snacks is real. Wait, what? Did you say yes? I, I said no, but uh, I thought I wanted to listen to them, so cool. now I will definitely Well, I'm going to listen to Little Snacks. Little Snacks. Okay. Little Snacks. Little How fun. Snacks. Oh, dang. We do have our last one here when it Great is. Great Mary <laughs> Take Xenon. No. What? Great yeah, okay. Mary Take Xenon. I'm going to go with yes because it's crazy. I want it to be real. I don't know if I, I, I know want I, it to be real, you know? I kind of do. I'm going to go with yes. At Rachel? I'm going with no. That thing is a good thing. I'm just saying. Yes I don't know. Because. Hey, the answer is. Oh my gosh, it's. Oh! No. No. You know, this was crafty on our producers because do y'all notice it's an acronym for Good Morning Texas. Oh, that's oh. so cute. Great, wow. Mary, that's take cool. Xenon. Oh, I like it. That is actually very interesting. <laughs> I don't like you guys. Good right for now. them. Good shout out to the producers. <laughs> no, no shout out. Good job that one. <laughs> okay, Dang. our next band is Venomous Maximus. All right, really quickly, I think I'm going to go with no on this one. Brenda? Uh, no. Yes. Uh, verdict? Oh, oh yeah. I should have just said okay. yes. The last right. one to go out with a bang, whatever. All right. It's fine. Well, <laughs> that's it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. For more Good Morning Texas throughout the week, you can follow us at, on Twitter, at Good Morning Texas. That's Good Morning Texas. Good Morning T. Oh, sorry, T. X. <laughs> and have a marvelous morning from everyone in here to your home this morning.